Hey Internet, welcome to Thermodynamics Tutorial 2-74. We have a wind turbine rotating at 15 RPM under a steady wind speed. And the turbine has a mass flow rate of 42,000 kilograms per second. The tip velocity of the turbine is 250 kilometers per hour. It generates 180 kilowatt power. We need to find the average velocity of the air and the efficiency of the turbine. The density of the air is 1.31 kilograms per meter cubed. We assume the turbine to be operating steadily. Okay, so to find the average velocity of the air, step one, we need to find the diameter of the blade and the area of the blade. So diameter in this case is velocity of the tip of the blade divided by pi and RPM. So we got 250 kilometers per hour divided by pi multiplied by 15 RPM. Then we got our conversion factors, top and bottom, and that gives us the diameter of 88.42 meters of the blade. We find the area, so that is pi times diameter squared divided by four. So pi multiplied by 88 0.42 squared divided by 4 is equal to 6140 meters squared. Now that we have our area, we can find our velocity, which is mass flow rate divided by density multiplied by area. So m dot divided by rho multiplied by area, which is equal to 42,000 kilograms per second divided by 1.31 kilograms per meter cube multiplied by 6140 meters squared which gives us 5.23 meters per second and that is the average velocity of the air now next we need to find the efficiency of the turbine so for this step we need to find the kinetic energy which is half the mass flow rate multiplied by the velocity squared. So that is half multiplied by 42,000 kilograms per second multiplied by 5.23 meters per second squared. And that gives us 574.3 kilowatts. Now to find the efficiency of the turbine, it is Eta is equal to power divided by kinetic energy. So the generated power is 180 kilowatts divided by 574.3 kilowatts. That gives us 0.313, which is 31.3%. Note that about one third of the kinetic energy of the wind is converted to power by the wind turbine which is typical for actual turbines. Disclaimer, the method is correct, but I do make calculation mistakes. I encourage you to solve it yourself and see if you get the same answer. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a great day. Be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, ring the bell, turn on all notifications. Leave a comment below if this was helpful. Until next time, see ya.